through to see if there's other Smash fan games in development and there are two that I found that I want to support and I want to sort of show you guys uh, a little bit about but before that let's go to one that I have been talking about for a while so if you guys remember I was talking about Super Smash Bros Crash and how when this game comes out we're gonna start making videos and stuff like that you know I couldn't wait till it comes out well sadly we're gonna start from here this happened so, I'm afraid I have very sad news. This isn't a joke this time. It's actually for real. My PC messed up. I had to reset it all up again, and I lost all my files for the game. So, therefore, Super Smash Bros. Crash is now officially cancelled. When we read the next part, it is understandable about why. I'm really sorry for those who were looking forward to this, but making a Smash game was never easy to begin with. I hope you understand that. My lifelong dream was to make my own Smash Bros game, but then I realized that it was a little too advanced. He's not wrong. It is it is a little difficult, you know? Sakurai literally almost lost an arm trying to make Smash 4. So, I understand that being a one-man team, or a small team, I'm not sure if you were just one man or if you had other people behind you uh, helping you, but I understand how difficult that could be, you know? I've never tried making a Smash game before, but... I can understand that the difficulties and trials and tribulations are terrible. Even the cloud gaming didn't even want to make a Smash Flash 3. And I believe it's because of how difficult it is to making a Smash game in general. But I think they're going to make one. I, I really do think. It's, it's, it's popular. So now with that out of the way, let's take a look at the other two fan games. First we're going to look over here at Super Smash Bros. Entropy. Super Smash Bros. Entropy. Alright, so allow me to introduce Super Smash Bros. Entropy. Super Smash Bros. Entropy is obviously a Smash fan game, but this isn't the ordinary fan game that you will see. This can be considered the most ambitious Smash fan game, even bigger than Super Smash Bros. 2 and Super Smash Bros. Crusade. Now, those two are really popular fan games by the community, and, you know, it's just... That's a bold claim you're making right there to go up against two big ones in the community. Uh, features. Everyone is everyone is here. All the original 75 fighters will be playable alongside with the fighters. Hats. So that's cool. So from the get-go, we're going to get all our all our Smash characters that we all love and that enjoy and love, as well as all the DLC that come with it. All stages in Smash history will also be playable. That is a huge bold claim, but I think that could be pulled out. I, I have a feeling that that could be pulled out. I don't know about the, the, the fighters, but I think the stages can definitely be pulled out. Um, which is weird, because you would think the fighters would be the easier part than the stages, but I think the stages could be easier. Transformation Final Smash will come back alongside with the Fulminating Attacks Final Smash. Okay, so... Final Smashes that transform like Bowser to Giga Bowser, those are coming back, and attack uh, attack Final Smashes, so like Wario turning into, you know, the Super Wario um, that you were able, to, that was invincible, you were, and that you could were able to control, that will be back. There will be plants. He's referring to Piranha Plant, or not. Excuse me? There will also be dog, uh, also, there will be also dogs and cats. Who's a cat? I know the only thing that's coming to my mind right now is Blaze the cat. Uh, my dog, there's gonna be Duck Hunt. Story mode with a real story, not like World of Light. Wooloo? Wooloo? Guys, I think he leaked Wooloo in his bio. Of the game. Not sure if Wooloo means the Pokemon or something else, but let's just move on. Stay tuned for more news about the games. And then they go on to like some frequently asked questions, that's what FAQ means. And they go with, when is the full game releasing? We don't know, the only thing you can do is wait, obviously. The game will be releasing updates. Yep, they have planned eight updates. Will space become playable? Probably, they have a very big roster plan. So, obviously there's like, insert character here, and they're saying probably, because they have a very big roster plan, at least 200 characters. 200! 
Imagine that. We have all the playable characters from Smash back, right? So it's 70, so that would be 75, well, Echo Fighters would be, I, I guess, I would assume separate characters, so it's more than 75. So let's say it's around, it's like 85. So that's at least 115 new characters coming into the game. Damn. You know what I'm hoping? Because they obviously know about Super Smash Flash, Super Smash Flash 2, and Crusade. I'm assuming they're going to take some characters from those games too and put them in. So we could be seeing the likes of... I mean, we're obviously going to see Cloud from Super Smash Flash. I'm assuming we could see Chrono, Lloyd Irving, Chibi Robo, Isaac as playable characters, while Luigi, Crystal... I mean, we're going to get Wolf, you know? I think Bandana is going to be playable, you know? Can I join the team? Oh wait, will this be free? Yeah, we legally can't monetize. Can I join the, the team if you have experience programming or, or, or spriting? Yeah, we need a really big team to make this. Will this be translated to, insert language here, currently we have plans to translate uh, to Spanish, Brazilian, Russian, and Japanese. Uploading content? Uh, not frequently, but yes. Will, uh, will, <laughs> will there be anime characters? Uh, <laughs> jets right out of the blue. So if we move down to here, if we move down to here, uh, they actually leak themselves uh, a few hints to characters, which he ended up confirming. So there's dark. There's gonna be, and these are playable Pokemon. So there's gonna be a dark, ghost, fire, psychic, dragon, and electric type Pokemon. Now, for those of you who are saying fire is gonna be Charizard, and electric could be Pikachu uh, or Pichu. Nah, uh, yes. I mean, obviously, because he said those guys were coming. But, here he says, these are all brand new Pokemon joining the battle for the first time. So let's see what he has confirmed. So, one of the followers of the game asked if one of the characters were Gengar. The creator ended up replying with a yes. So, that means that that is our first ghost Pokemon. We then move over to my comment where I piggyback over the ghost being Gengar, but I also say that the fire is actually Blaziken. And then we also move down to me saying that the electric Pokemon could be Raichu to finish off the Pikachu evolution. Well, I, I actually meant to say Pichu evolution, but the Pikachu never comes out. He says yes for Gengar and Blaziken, so we already knew Gengar was so Blaziken is the fire type, but no for, P for Raichu. Let's then move on to this, where he gives a clue that a Master Ball means a legendary or singular Pokemon. And my, my uh, answer for that was Deoxys and Raikou. Deoxys being... Um, what was it? Was it another type? A Psychic type, and Raikou being an Electric. I got the Psychic right! But the, the electric still is not like you. So I have no clue who Wulu could be. Let's go back, let's look at Wulu first. Okay, so Wulu is actually a normal type. So that excludes Wulu. Alright, so we're back on this page. And about the story mode and other things, I'll say it all at once. Although this was to be expected, the story mode will not be implemented until the last version, probably the 8th. Also, the story is already being planned. Among the things already planned, we have the villain named. Corruptus, forming an alliance with other villains to fulfill this vision of the world. His image and likeness gathering other villains like Tabu, Galim, Darkon, uh, T, or Y, uh, and wild beasts like Void, Termina, and other belief to, uh, to achieve that goal promising the villains a part of the world, promise which is false, but some of our uh, beloved villains like Ridley, Infinite, and E, uh, Eggman? Eggman. It's Eggman. Distrust of him, more or less, it would be the main plot of the story. Are we gonna get Eggman as a playable character? And who's Infinite? Are we gonna get Infinite as a playable character? Oh wait, we are. Oh shoot, I just, I ruined that for you guys. B below, you'll see. Uh, distrust of him, more or less, it would be the main plot. Story, also, it will represent three types of missions for the three sides good, neutral, and evil, but we have thought to hide a certain part of the lore, mainly the origin of Corruptus. 
in the, uh, in the different versions of the game, it should be noted, the story mode will also try to include all the characters and alts of the game. For example, the Squid Sisters, Alf, and four heroes from DQ have roles in the story or explaining things like how uh, Maggie becomes an inkling again and Desti being resurrected, which is a thing is related to certain time. So yes, they are also incorporating some SMG4 stuff into this, which I think is really cool. Maybe we'll get SMG4 as a skin for Mario. Uh, P.S. Maybe the story is going to be a bit inc inconclusive or strange, but the main plan is to revive the experience of the subspace emissary and bosses, many bosses. Also, I'm still working on the new logo. It's a bit hard to make. Okay, so that's it. Uh, a new challenger, they say one more because I'm looking at this backwards. So, one more, so challenger approaching, Chibi Robo, so Chibi Robo is going to be in the game. I know I said before, like, oh, 200 characters, maybe I'm here for Chibi Robo. Blah, blah, blah. I totally forgot that they already announced it. Uh, but I know below, okay, Banjo Kazooie, this, this is not an announcement, but this is just them saying, oh, uh, how surprised, uh, how, not, not how shocked, but how happy they were that Banjo Kazooie got, include, got included. All right. So, since they were not formally present, here are the first four newcomers in something else. Infinite, the Jackal from Sonic Forces, and Sakuya. Well, Project Enter the Battle. I don't know who Sakuya is. But here we go. Metal Sonic is going to be in the game. Shovel Knight, Skull Kid, uh, the Octolings. You know? And what I. This is. This is Infinite. So, Infinite the Jackal, it's like I said, we're going to be playable, so if Ridley, Infinite are playable, then, then they already pretty much leaked that Eggman was going to be playable. Uh, and here's S Sukuya. So that, that's going to be interesting. We scroll further down, we see the Metal Sonic alts, as well as how good the sprite work looks. Metal Sonic alts. Anyone besides me cares about him. I actually do. I actually want to see Metal Sonic in a Smash game. And he's actually in, I believe, Super Smash Bros. Legacy XP. Uh, PD, if someone guesses all the references, I will reveal another newcomer. Okay, cool. Quick and important announcement, Maggie, the old Maggie and Desti from SMG4 videos will be in Inkling and Octolings, oh, respectively. There you go. Hit an F in the chat for Desti, and I did. Oh, well, working in the new logo type of the game. Oh, if anyone wants to know the list of Fire Emblem characters, it is Marth, Fire Marth, Warrior Marth, Magic Marth, Lady Marth. Uh, Marth, Drag, uh, Dragon Marth, Browser Marth, Black Marth, Axe Marth, Lady Marth, and Violet. Who's Violet? I had to look that up. Oh, okay, so they're adding a, a three houses rep. That's cool. As for the other characters, I'm understanding. This is obviously Marth. Okay, it's like this is Roy. Ike. Oh, we already know Ike's gonna be in the game. It's better. Uh, Robin, Lucina, Corin. I don't know who Browser Mark could be. Could that be Krom? I don't know. I don't know who Black Mark, Black Mark can be either. I know Axe Mark is probably Hector. Uh, Lady Mark too. I don't know who that is either. But we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll find out soon enough, right? <laughs> All right. Then here they have a little article about the game's development. So let's go back down here. Guys, I'll be honest with you, the development of the game is already resumed, but do not wait for the first version at least until the next year. So basically, 2020 might be when we get the actual like, first version of the game. By the way, I actually asked about what characters are going to be in it. The first version will have 12 newcomers, of which 4 will be Shovel Knight, uh, Shovel Knight Metal Sonic, Skull Kid, and Octolink as an Inkling Echo. He revealed to me a few more after that. Uh, but guys, I'll be honest, the development of the game, right, uh, broken, uh, you see, as I live in Venezuela, in this damn pigsty of broken dreams, there is a blackout every day, not enough with exams and that shit from college. Uh, my parents always manage to invent the stupid things to have me out of the house as the day of gasoline, for example. And also, the veterans that will be in the first version are Mario, Link, Kirby, Samus. Oh, okay, you did not tell me Link and Kirby in the first one. No, no, I mean Link or Pikachu. Pikachu. Is Pikachu still in this? No, Pikachu is in this. still not in so. Here's something to Link. But Mario, Link, Kirby, Samus, Dark Samus. All of the Echoes will be with their original characters. Ridley, Captain Falcon, Ness, King Deity, Ike, Sonic, Inkling, and Snake. No, please, please don't tell me that you're actually going to put them on top of each other. Can we still have the option to place them apart, please? Um, you know, 
first version will have 12 newcomers, of which four will be Shovel Knight, Metal Sonic, Skull Kid, Aqualink, and then Link Echo. And then I'll go to what he told me. Alright, so if we look over here, you'll see if you pull this game out well and it ends up with over 200 characters, every character is coming, including the DLC, I will never buy another Smash game again. That was a bold claim for me to make, so I retracted it really quickly. Well, not really, but I do like making videos on new Smash fan games, which literally is what I'm doing right now. I find. I find, so I will definitely give some publicity to the followers I have by then. From when the first version releases all the way to the final version, this will be a fun ride. And I ask though, who's planned for the first demo? And then as we look here, he says, Veterans, Mario, Samus, Dark Samus, Ridley, Donkey Kong, King K. Rool, Ness, Kirby, DDD, Snake, Sonic, Ike, and Mr. Game & Watch. Now, he never said, um, when he didn't say Inkling in this, he didn't say uh, Link in this. And this comment was made way after that one, so maybe, you know, maybe he's still trying to work things out, blah blah blah, so we'll finally see. Over here though, he says, newcomers are going to be Metal Sonic, Shovel Knight, Chibi Robo, Sequoia, Octoling, Ninten, and Skull Kid. Literally everyone he's released, except for Jackal, I mean Jackal, Infinite, who he has not put in here, and he has not even revealed that Nintendo's going to be part of the game, so it's pretty interesting that he literally confirmed that Nintendo is going to be in this game. I like that. And now we sort of reached the end of the page. It's not good news, but again, this was stuff made like a month ago. Now, more recently, it's looked like it's been better. So, uh, the game development is delayed until new advice. Sorry, as we know, we already picked up again. Task report one, since nobody was interested in working on the game, I will be looking for, uh, I was, I'll be looking to make the first version alone. So development has been slowed down. Not cancelled. Be cool and stay tuned. The fact that we still and he still says we're having over two hundred characters on the on the page must mean that he's still determined to do it even if nobody's willing to work. So there's that. So now let's move on to the other game page that um that I've uh, seen literally just before I even made this video. That's why I want to make the video. Super Smash Bros. Collision. We have a music track and a teaser. So let's 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 take a look at both of those first. All right, let's start. Mario, Link. All right, it's been 18 years. Super Smash Bros. Since the first battles, it, it, it looks promising already. Like. Melee. I've gone through all of them. I've gone through the years. Oh man, good memories from all of these games, man. Yeah. And, uh, we're watching the other. I think, I think they literally just gave us a sneak peek of like the versus menu from, for, uh, for, this, for, the, for the new game. For many games. So prepare yourself. Two. They even put a Super Smash Flash 2 and new challenges by the family. Super Smash Bros. Crusade. They're trying to make these games combat with those two. Super Smash Bros. Collision. Probably had not. Those are all the characters. Oh! And we have to like pause that and see who's in it. And who they plan to put in it. Because they already have a plan. I already know that. New challenger is coming. Alright, 2019. That's why I'm wondering, like, is, is, is this, is it a release window of 2019? It's almost done. Uh, alright, so now we gotta go over here. As you can probably see. Alright, so over here, it's just a, uh, it's just a song, a soundtrack for the stage behind, which is Princess Peach's Castle, which is coming into this game. That is like what it looks like as of right now. Um, they are going to. They said that they are going to work on more spriting for it. But uh, it's the overworld. Let's list a little bit. I'm not going to listen to the entire thing. But just look, look, look how, how great it sounds. All right, now let me show you guys what we can find in here. 
the devlog. Project Collision is just another fan-made Super Smash Bros. Uh, game from fans to fans. Uh, we'll try to post anything related to the project every week or so, uh, being progress, progress, images, animations, sneak peeks, videos, concept art, and more. Uh, we are a small team of developers consisting of five sprite artists and two programmers. Our main developer is currently working on, a, on the basic fighting mechanics while the other one is doing menus and other stuff. The rest are working on sprites, art, and designing. We're, uh, we're trying to get a demo working to be released to the public in the near future, possibly late 2019. There we go. We want to join the fight. We <laughs> want to join the fight. We want the project to be as high quality as possible. And while we already have some talented people working in, in the game, it is never enough. If you know how to do sprite art animation programs or even composing music, send us a DM, especially sprites, please. They, they want a lot of characters. But over here they got a new they got a new um They just have a new um programmer, pretty much. We're gonna skip those. I don't really care much too much about them. Uh, Project Collision, so let's go back here. Okay. Over here, whoa, thank you guys so much, uh, all of, uh, all 50 of you who decided to follow our game. Right now they're at 76 followers. As a gift from the team, we'll give you a sneak peek at the entire roster for Collision. We might do this every time we hit a milestone like this. So 100 might be the next milestone that they reach. And honestly, it is blurred, but you can see a little bit. I can see Mario, Luigi, I think that's Bowser. I can see Yoshi, definitely. I think right under Yoshi, that's Kirby. I can see Jigglypuff right under Luigi. We look... So, if we look at the fourth row, so you'll know fourth, because you'll see the blurs. And we go fourth person. Well, first we go third. See that that's Rayman. Go next, so that might be Shantae, and the one next to her might be Shovel Knight. Alright. Over here, we have a look at screen concept. Much like main menu, uh, the victory slash result screen was one of the first things uh, conceptualized for the project. We didn't have too much to go on beginning this is the concept art of it development continue things evolve naturally as always but there were tons of iterations of the result uh, screen here's just another one more concept art i like this first one honestly it's way better it's way it's way more um unique not i haven't seen any other fan game people do that it's more unique uh eventually we recruited someone to design some original backgrounds and stages you might see him soon result screen uh, background concept art that's beautiful as for victory animations we are somewhat limited to two dimensions but we still want to do some dynamic camera angles you might get some victory animations in the future so you can see what we're talking about so that's concept art. but it's not all victory animations there's much more to result screen like a no contest version win lose sprites for our characters and the actual results no contest we hope if you like this week's uh, post, tell us what you think, and thank you so much for following the project. Here we go, we have a menu showcase. showcase. They, they want to do English and Spanish. First of all, we hope it doesn't matter if the screenshots are in Spanish, but it's the main language of many of us on the team. Oh, okay. And that the menu was one of the first things done uh, for the game. But worry not, the upcoming demo will include a language option for both English and Spanish. Awesome. Well, the demo will include at most few games we wanted to include most things we have planned for the game on this menu. Okay, I am tired. It is almost 10 o'clock. While the demo will include, uh, oh, this version of the main menu is clearly inspired by Brawl's version, by Brawl's and features, group, solo, vote, options, data, each one leads to a sub menu. And why not check out the character selection screen? Thank you for leaking Mario, Link, Kirby, and Pikachu. This screen takes more elements from Smash Bros. Ultimate, although it's not finished, making character renders taking uh, takes a while. And yes, we'll talk about the characters from the demo eventually. Also, here is the stage selection screen. Cool, so here are, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six stages. I'm assuming that's a random and not a question mark uh, or like another stage. Just add to the last screen, this one is based on Ultimate's version. This time the hazard button will be on this screen. Oh, hazards on and off. Check out the music. Uh, be on this screen and also, like the last screen, thumbnails from the stage do not represent the final uh, version. Believe it or not, 
uh, these screens changed a lot from the concept phase of the game. This was what they had probably planned originally. Let's see how much we've improved in just a few months. But anyways, we hope you liked uh, this info bomb. Alright, let's talk about HUD. Just look at the HUD. I'm not going to read anything. That's cool. Awesome render, franchise logo, Mario 2 hour match, stocks. Okay, let's hear a comment about the game. Oh, okay, we gotta see what he's gonna say here. Okay, we'll go to that pretty soon. Right here, Kirby. We'll be like, okay. again, another person joining the team. That's what we saw. So there we go. That's a better uh, look at what the stage is. Stage showcase number one. I think that's all they had for that. Oh, no. Go back there. Okay, animation showcase. Here we go. We finally get a look at sprites we're using for the external programming. Here we go. That's the entrance. Okay, entrance, up smash, okay, just idle animation. Title screen, there we go, there we go baby. And new project is approaching. Okay, so we are currently working on the first demo, uh, a few stages, and items, and four playable characters. As for the completed game, we had a 47 character goal. That's just a goal. Hopefully they plan the whole you know. That'd be good. You know, at least 200 characters. Uh, so, let's go see what uh, this other person, what uh, Delphox going to say about, about... I forgot what it posted. It's going to be in here. Okay, it says, what do you mean with that? For example, Samus Dark Santa having a different slot? In that case, yes. Yes! Okay, thank you. So, like, Inkling and Hopkins are also going to have a different slot. Okay, so that's good. The echoes aren't going to be forced into the actual characters. Okay, cool. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share it. And share the video around to all your Smash friends, and we'll see you later. Hopefully when these games come out. Later.